Wow. That guy hit like a ton of bricks. Clicker just went nuts. There's some head shaking. He's pulling. Holy smoke. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, wow. Stay down. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. This is a good fish, guys. He's all right. Nice! Man, it just never gets old. These fish are just awesome. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, look at that. Just a gorgeous fish. Love it. All right, so we get a lot of questions on the lead core rod. A lot of questions on how to rig it. That's been covered pretty extensively. It's three colors of lead core. I run um, a, a top shot of about 50 feet, 45 feet, and then the three colors of lead core, and then I run a braid backing. Pretty standard setup, and I'll put a link to the video on how that runs. But let me show you guys how I fish it, specifically out of the kayak. Um, I am fishing about two to two and a half miles an hour today, 1.8 to two and a half miles an hour today, and I have a maglip on. This setup's been great for me. Maglip's super versatile, the rod's super versatile, changing depths is really versatile. I have my downrigger out on the other side, but I always run the lead core rod opposite the downrigger. They just complement each other really well. So, um, first of all, the reel's pretty important. We use these Daiwa LCB 17 reels. We sell them in the store. They're really inexpensive. Um, they're a large form factor reel, so there's plenty of room to get your backing, the lead core, which takes up quite a bit of spool space, and your top shot on. So start with that. It has a line counter and a clicker, and I use both of those are necessities in order to fish this rig for me personally. So it's really simple. Right now, I just dropped the bait in the water. Um, it's on about a four foot leader to a, to a trolling swivel, a quality trolling swivel. That's my standard setup on everything. So I'm just gonna start letting it out. And it doesn't feed off super fast with the, with the uh, maglip off there, but pretty straightforward. I just point the rod at the bait as I'm trolling along. I'm going right at 1.8 miles an hour right now. And it's taking line. It's fairly slow, but it is taking line. Um, and you don't want any kinks or anything. You want to make sure you keep the line taunt, but I just point the rod at it so it pulls off really easily. Now it's going to get to the braid here in just a second. And every once in a while, it's not super uncommon, the knot between the top shot and the braid will get caught in the guides. And it usually gets caught either at the spool itself on the reel, which this one made it through just fine, or it gets caught on the tip like that. And all I do is just thumb the rod and give it a little jerk forward. Boom, it popped right through. So you just have to watch for that. Um, if it stops picking off line, it's usually because the knot's caught somewhere on your guides. And uh, sometimes those knots are a little messy. Mine was probably a little too big when I did it in a hurry. But now it's feeding braid. I'm on the second color of braid. It's going out nice and slow. Nice, solid, straight line. There's no slack in it whatsoever. And the lure's still fishing back there. The maglip's running, I don't know, three or four feet deep probably. And, and, and as line is fed to it, it's deepening. But it's slowly fishing. And every once in a while, you'll catch one as you're letting it out, which is a pretty awesome experience. So now I'm right at all three colors of lead. My knot for the lead's right there. Now I'm into my, my backing. So if I was, I know that that's three colors. The third color hasn't quite hit the water yet. So I'm gonna let it out till it just touches the water. So when we say put out three colors of braid, that's it. I've got about 10 feet of the, or 10, three colors of lead core, that's it. I've got about 10 feet of the, ba of the backing out. That gets the braid in the water. There's three colors of lead in the water. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and let out, a, that's 160 feet by the way of line total from the reel to the lure. I'm gonna go ahead and let out about another 20 feet. 
and uh, that's gonna get me pretty close to the maximum depth um, without going super crazy on the on the line length so now I've got 180 feet out three colors of lead the baits back there doing its thing it's probably running 20 feet deep with the lead and then the bait itself will pull down another four or five feet so right at 25 feet which is right where I want to be is where I've been getting hooked up all day long so you got a couple options now a lot of guys will put this in a rod holder Cal likes to run his rod holder in front of him where it's aimed really low I've uh, I've moved away from having that extra gear in front of me in the kayak so I what I've resorted to is I make the drag almost non-existent there's almost zero drag on the reel at all. And I just go ahead and turn on the clicker. So it'll take line like crazy. When that gets hit, it's gonna, if nothing else, give me a couple quick clicks. Mostly what happens is it takes off running and you hear the clicker going crazy. So the bale's closed, the reel is locked, the drag is set to almost nothing and the clicker's on. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it into a vertical rod holder on my boat. It's right over my right shoulder. I peek at it every once in a while to see what's happening, but if a fish hits it, instantaneously you're gonna at least hear three or four clicks pull out. Um, most of the time you'll hear a lot more than that. So that's the basic setup. Really, really simple. You don't need to overthink it. Whether you put it in a rod holder or you put it vertically like this, or you could just hold it, stick it under your seat, whatever works for you in your kayak or boat, I really like the clicker function and I just let the fish basically run off the clicker instead of the drag. When I go to reel it in, I turn the clicker off, I tighten the drag a half turn and just start slowly reeling. So that's the setup, that's what's been working for us. Phenomenal setup, man, it's the most versatile setup I've ever had. I honestly wasn't sold on lead core until we started playing with it a couple years ago. My favorite setup by far and it's always, always right there in the boat. I use it every time we go out no matter what. So. Um, that's how we run our lead core. Do you want results next time you go trout fishing? Get yourself a set of trigger spoons and put a limit on the stringer. They flat out produce.